Hello, good day, and welcome. Today, we're going to be dealing with BJ 2019 Mathematics Past Question Question 39. Find the LCM of 6, 9, and 15. Find the LCM of 6, 9, and 15. A 36, B 45, C 60, and D 90. So, we are asked to find the LCM of 6, 9, and 15. And like we know, LCM simply means lowest common multiple. Lowest common multiple. That's the full meaning of LCM. Meaning that the multiple of these numbers, and like you know multiples, like if, for instance, 6 times 1, 6, 6 times 2, 12. You say 12 is a multiple of 6. 6 times 3, 18. You say 18 is a multiple of 6. That's what we mean by multiple. Then common multiple. That is number which is a multiple of 6 and also a multiple of 9 and also a multiple of 15. That means that number that is that number has 6, 9 and 15 as its factor. So that's what we mean by common multiple. That is the number which is a multiple of 6, 9 and 15. So that means it is common. Then we now see the lowest common multiple. We refer to the no, a common multiple that is a number which is a multiple of 6, 9, and 15, but which is the lowest out of those common multiples. That is the lowest of these common multiples. Now, A here we have 36, B we have 45, C we have 60, and D we have 90. So, we are asked to find the lowest common multiple of 6, 9, and 15. Now, to find this lowest common multiple, to find the LCM, there are two things we need to understand. One, we need to express these numbers express the numbers as product of prime factors express the numbers as product of prime factors as product of prime as product of prime factors so we express this number as the product of their prime factors first of all that's the first thing we need to do as product of their prime factors then number two thing we need to do that then we'll now look for the what we'll look for the lowest product the lowest product of the lowest product of all the factors of these numbers that is we'll find the lowest product of all the factors of these numbers so the first thing we need to do is to what express this number first of all as product of their prime factors and like we know when we say express as product of prime factors it means that what we express these numbers as product of what prime numbers and we know that prime numbers are numbers that has what just two factors one and itself and the lowest prime number is two and we are expressing a number as a product of its prime number or prime factors it must begin with the lowest prime number so the first number we have here is six now to express six as product of prime factors we start with the lowest prime number which is two and you check if 2 can go into 6 without remainder. And like we know, 2 will go into 6 3 times without any remainder. So we we'll put down our 2. Then you check again, can 2 go into the 3? Because 2 will go into 6 3 times. So we have 3 now. So can 2 go into 3? No. We move to the next word, prime number, which is 3. And 3 will go into 3 once without any remainder. So you write what? Because of this, since 3 can go into 3 without any remainder, we now write what? Multiply by 3. That is 2 times 3. So, write it down. 2 times 3. Now, we have 2 times 3 to give us what? 6. So, move to the next number, which is 9. Now, 2 cannot go into 9. So, we move to the next prime number, which is 3. 3, we go into 9 3 times. And 3 can go into 3 once. So, we have 3 times 3 to give us 9. Then the next is what? 15 15 now 2 cannot go into 15 no but 3 will go into 15 5 times so since 3 is the next prime number after 2 we we'll write down 3 since 3 can go into what 3 can go into 15 5 times so we put down 3 and 3 cannot go into 5 so we move to the next prime number which is 5 and 5 will go into 5 once so we put down 5 so now we have 3 times 5 to give us 15 
So we successfully would express these numbers as products of their prime factors. Now six here, two times three will give us six. Nine, three times three here will give us nine. And 15, three times five will give us what? 15. So this is the expression of these numbers as products of their prime factors. Now the next thing says that we should find the lowest product of all the factors of the numbers. That is, we should find, remember we're looking for multiple. So we have to multiply. So we are looking for the words, the lowest product of the factors of all these numbers. What we mean by this lowest product means that whenever a number appears in one, in as a factor of one number, and it also appears as a factor in another number, you don't need to repeat repeat it in terms of the word product. When you are carrying out the product, it shouldn't be repeated. It should be considered that what the number is common and plead as one. Now what do I mean? Now we have for 6, 2 times 3, for 9, 3 times 3, and for 15, 3 times 5. So now, to find the lowest product of all the factors of this number, what do we do now? Now, let's come here. We have that what? Therefore, LCM is equal to, now, we have 2 times 3, which is found in 6 as product of 6, and um, factors of 6 is prime factors of 6 then times now remember this 3 is already found in 6 and it's found in 9 you don't need to repeat it but because this 3 here is not found in in 6 and it's not found in 15 product of 15 then prime factors of 15 you can now add it because you're picking all the factors of these numbers but you don't have to repeat factors that has already occurred in all the numbers because look at this if you look at this 3 here this 3 already appear in 6 and it also appears in what in 9 and it also appears in 15 so there's no need to what, to repeat it because we're looking for the lowest products so now we are not repeating this at all we'll not repeat this we we'll move straight to the next word next one which is this 3 and we say times 3 times also we want to repeat this we we'll move straight to the next one which is not absent times 5 so we have 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. This is the lowest product of all the worst factors of these numbers. Now if you look at it, 2 is found in 6. 3 is found in both 6, 9 and 15. This 3 you can find it as a prime factor of 9. And this 5 is found in 15. So successfully we'll pick all the factors of these numbers. Now let's multiply them to get our lowest product. 2 times 3 will give us 6. 3 times 3 will give us 18. And 18 times 5 will give us what? 90. So 18 times 5 will give us 90. Therefore, LCM of 6, 9, and 15 is 90. It's 90. 90 is our answer. Now let's look at the options and check which of these options corresponds to our answer. And you see that D here corresponds to our what answer. D says 90. D says 90. Therefore, D is our correct answer. 90. Thank you very much and God bless you. Please ensure to subscribe to our channel to get more of our videos.